سيبه مظلوم Again, my apologies for that last link. That was crazy. I have no idea crypto stuff. That was just rude. I didn't know that that was, uh, yeah, good you weren't here. I didn't know that that was a thing. No, I do. Kyle, welcome. Nice to see you here. After hours, a pleasure as always. Right on. So I'm going to teach you guys my money printer model. And this has a very, very high strike rate. I use it with very, very high leverage. Um, I would please ask that you, of course, practice this in a demo setting first so that you get comfortable with it. Because uh, most of you guys are breakout traders because it makes you feel better. And um, that's most that hundred and fifty dollar class for free. Really? Can everybody mute mute themselves? I'm doing it right now. Oh, 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 sorry. I don't know how to mute everyone. Like mute participants upon entry. And hmm. how do I just mute everyone? That I'm I'm not sure. Oh, there we go. Allow participants to unmute themselves right there. Oh, wonderful. And show video. Can I do the video one too? Um, oh, I'm... No, anyway. Okay. All right, here we go. Again, practicing this in the demo setting, you've most likely been trading breakouts, which are not healthy for your portfolio. Um, you've been conditioned by red lights and all sorts of, you know, red things like stop sign, don't. And trading is so backwards, it's ridiculous. So if you are a struggling trader, this might help you out a lot. When we're talking about trading, what do you think about? You think about buy low, sell high. That's a pretty you know, common thing that you would want to think about when you go into trading, only do you practice it? You know, if you've answered no, then I'm gonna help you. Change your red candles. Okay, change them color, change them to your favorite color. It'll help you mentally, just right off the bat, right off the hop. It just takes the sketch out of your mind. These are money right here. Every time you see a red candle, that equals money. You don't want to be in it as it's going up. You want to be in it as it's going down. Such as here, such as here, such as here. When candles are going down, you know an expansion is coming after. Everybody's buying at lower prices. So why aren't you? So when you see red candles falling in to your retracement zone, that's a good spot to buy. Now, although this one did not take off to new heights, we've been in an accumulation zone for 196 days. There's still money here. And at high leverage and sniping the bottoms of candles, if you you know are lucky enough to get one, that right there is 468%. That one there was 1,690%. So when you are in a discounted market, as far as the dealer's range goes. And all you need to do is take your FIB and measure from swing to swing. If you're in a downtrend, you measure from the top. Are you below the 50? Well, we are now, so longs will be favored and all your bull patterns will be favored in this market. If you're in a premium market, such as from here to here, all your bear flags are going to be favored and all your bull flags are most likely going to fail, such as this example here. So if you're wondering why patterns fail most of the time, not most of the time, but uh, you know, a large percentage of the time, this is why. It's because you're playing them in the wrong environment. It's okay to stop price as you're flying up and with with your, you know, life or vision, it's fine to be stocking price on the way up. That that's cool. But once you get to a certain point, you're going, okay, when is the stop? 
you're just going to keep playing it until the pattern fails. So after this beautiful red candle here, now why do I say beautiful? Because this is money right here. All red candles are money. You have been conditioned because you've been taking breakout trades. You know, and if that's not you, then I'm not talking to you. But if you fall into this category, I am directly speaking to you. You've been taking trades as it breaks out. And you've got this beautiful SR flip right here. So here was your resistance. It comes up and it flips it. So if you were chasing this breakout and you had your stop loss somewhere in here, it came for you. But I'm going to teach you now how to catch these candles from the absolute bottom and ride up at least to the highs. Now, there was no reason to close this trade. It just flew right up all week. So if you want to be a swing trader, have you been swing trading? Have you been catching the swings and getting out at swings? If you answered no, I got some awesome news for you. These markets don't just turn on a dime from just anywhere. Now, I know buying red candles is really spooky. And you need to be conditioned to it properly before you can just go in there with live funds and absolutely trash these markets, which is possible. We're doing it. So after an obvious stop hunt, and how is this an obvious stop hunt? Well, you have equal lows here. So the market maker is coming for all of this liquidity down here. Okay, FTX or not, market makers coming for this liquidity. Then it makes this beautiful, beautiful pattern. So we're going to drop into our four-hour time frame. And this is where <laughs> you're going to glean the absolute sauce right here. This head and shoulders, inverted head and shoulders, played out very nicely because it was in the right environment. So this right here is actually our macro 786 retracement right around in here somewhere. So it finally stop hunted to the 786 retracement. And I'll show you that in a minute. But what I really want you to see is how we were holding up all these swing highs all the way down. So you got your swing high intact, swing high intact, 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 and then here up in here yes in here but it wasn't time yet and we had equal lows going on here really really good ones we start taking out swing highs and this movement right there that was the absolute signal to this sauce once this high took out this high here we can anticipate a market structure shift, meaning we're going to start blowing out all those swing highs that were just created. So how in this money printer model here, can we grab the absolute bottom? Well, I like to use my bodies, not my wicks, when I'm trying to snipe entries. And here you have in the 786 retracement. So I'm going to back up. I'm going to go to back to the weekly time frame. And I'm going to pull from the old bear low, which would be this here. I'm going to pull the to the bull high from low to high. And I want you to notice what goes on here. Price snaps down out of this bear flag. Perfect, perfect. It's perfect. It's in a premium market. It makes a bear flag. So it's going to bang. And there it is. Boom. Price comes down, comes back up, comes back down, makes a beautiful double bottom, psychs everyone out, and you get stop hunted. Everybody's stop hunted on this double bottom. If you see a double, triple, quadruple bottom, not a single, but specifically double or more above a 786 retracement, be very patient. Okay, it's coming down here. So now we're in a 786 retracement. Okay, so from the low to the high, we are in a continuation money printer model. So we're in a discounted market. So all of the real big players are going to be buying here. And that's what essentially pushes price up. 
So back into the four hour time frame, because we got to pretend that this price didn't exist yet. Oops. We got to pretend all this price didn't exist yet. So as price is coming up and taking all, all these swing highs, it's showing a willingness to go higher. And once it's up there, we're pulling our fibs from low to high from the bodies, not the wicks, right there. And it comes down into our 786 retracement. So not only are we in a local one, we are in a macro one. So we are looking for this specific model while we are in our 786 retracement from low to high. Now you can do this in any single time frame. It doesn't matter. If you see this in the one hour time frame, you're dropping into your one minute. If you see it in your weekly, you're dropping into your four hour. If you see this in the daily, you're dropping into your one hour and you're looking for this baby right here. This is your standard cup and handle, but it's when you're playing it that matters. And if you see this in a premium market, you know, you're like the, you know, at, at its peak before it starts coming down for all the chasers. So it makes an Adam and Eve double bottom in here. And however you like to play it, stochastics, moving averages, MACD, if you want to use all that stuff for confluence and you see tight moving averages in a 786 retracement with bullish divergence, which there was, you have a massive massive play to the upside. Now look at how my third deviation of this range here was met. So from here to here, this is three symmetrical price swings of this here. And that was met like gangbusters before coming down and stopping out all of the chasers before it does what? Rips for their direction. It absolutely smashes into all of this, you know, liquidity creating the new high that we've just been doused with euphoria in and that's it that's that's it right there now we've had all this chop now again i am not pulling from the absolute swing low all the time if i see one like this and if you've been with me and you know that i i'm not cherry picking here and as a matter of fact we played this double bottom in the learning library when it did happen, but we've seen that there was a double bottom and another double bottom above a 786 retracement. It swipes it, comes into a discount, makes the, so we're in the four hour, makes the exact money printer right there. So we're going to go into the 15 minute. If we can get back this far on this time frame, right? Was it there? Yeah. That guy right there. What does that look like to you? That is quite literally the exact same as the December lows. That little money printer baby model right there. It's, it's beautiful. And in the one minute and five minute time frame, I don't think we can get that back that far um, in that small of a time frame. But um, it makes the swing break and the retracement perfectly. Like absolutely perfectly. It hits the 618. It comes down, dips in here, and then starts ripping. That's that's the play right there. And it didn't, it hit the 618 in the, this is our zone right here. If we see this little baby money printer inside of a bigger one, we know what's coming. We know what's coming. Oh, hold up. You know what? And look at that. That's how transferable it is. I wasn't even in the right area. That little bugger plays out so much. So this is the 618 double bottom. And there it is right there. Look at that. It's the same thing. I play this every day. I am looking. This is, this is what pays me. I am looking for this every single day. After you see equal lows taken out like this, boom. And you're in the 618, 786 retracement. I see this and I am in. And I'm in for a lot. So I'm going to try and zoom out as best as I can. 
And you can see that when we were up here, we were just falling down and all the bear flags played out very nicely. All of them. This guy here, this bull flag here, went up and failed, made a bear flag and dumped. Where's another one here? There's an accumulation phase and it comes up and grabs all the liquidity, makes a cup and handle. This one bangs and then it makes a bigger one and then fails. Bear flag, drop. Cup and handle failed, so you know it's still bearish. <laughs> You're just waiting and waiting. Now, here's a good example of, you know, one that would fail on you. And we're going to talk about it because we don't just want to go for the good ones. So you've got your dealing range right here, and you want to hit it up in a discount. Now, because this snapped to and through, we can safely assume that the order flow is bearish. Because we did not respect the 786 retracement, we can, you know, anticipate it coming down even further. So it makes a double bottom and it actually flips the 618 into resistance bullishly. So it snaps down to and through our 786 and it won't get back up. Even though it did come back up for all of the people here, it still made a nice bear flag and it banged out perfectly right into a discount where our cup and handle flipped out and this little stop hunt right here was enough to catapult price up to higher prices now this is exactly what i put out in the um learning library was that we had an ascending triangle and before i got you know relatively pretty good at trading this was my pattern. This was my money printer long before. Um, let me just use it there, throw the magnet on. Long before I got into the swing break retracement, um, this was my model and it was the ascending triangle. And because this little, you know, it's supposed to go up, right? So all the time I'm getting stopped out. So I'd start laddering in my entries here and putting a stop loss way below. And I'd go from small entry to large entry and then ride out the expansion. But then I noticed that after this high was taken out, it would always come down. And it would always land in a 618 or 786 retracement before absolutely mooning. So I got rid of this and just changed it to this. And instead of laddering in my entry, I just started buying whatever came down into here, especially if it made a swing low. Now, I'm going to teach you just quickly what a swing low is, if you don't already know, but a lot of you might not even know exactly what a swing low is and how to spot one. This is a swing low, or a swing high, sorry. When you have a set of three candles, you have a lower high, a higher high, and then another lower high. Now this can be bodies or wicks. They can be both up or down closed candles, but this is your swing high. Now after this swing high is confirmed when this candle closes, we can anticipate a break to the downside. Now the exact opposite is to be said for a swing low. These can be any color, up or down close. Wicks cannot be broken or it's continuation. When you are playing these swing lows in a 786 retracement, you have a high probability trade for this candle here to close and open, find a low, and then run out, and then run away from the swing. So when we're playing swing lows, we're playing them to swing highs. When we're playing swing highs, we're playing them to swing lows. There's no need to guess and bail from your trades because you don't know where price is going. It could go anyway, you know, if that's your belief. 
you know, I don't subscribe to that, but if you believe that you don't know where price is going, then it's kind of spooky to be in a trade and be in all these profits and not have any freaking clue, you know, when to get out. You know, unless you're just playing it till the stochastics are extended, but then you might end up missing out on some more moves because they could reset and not crash and, and still give you a nice pump up, you know, like that right there. So when you're playing swings, and before I continue, I will let you know that I know you can't see it, but you got to imagine these all these candles here. You've got to imagine them as one four-hour candle. So if you've got 15 minutes, that means you got a bunch of these 15-minute candles or four-hour candles. So just like your swing low, you've got your higher low, you've got your lower low, and that was your stop hunt. So we can anticipate higher prices here. Now, how would we possibly be able to front run this swing low? Because somewhere in here, there's a higher low in the four-hour candle. The next four-hour candle confirms these three as a higher low. Maybe it was that one there. So after that higher low is made, we are anticipating higher prices because we're swing traders. So after you pull from your low to high, it comes down into the 618786 retracement and then blasts off. Where does it blast off to? Well, there's a swing high. You could be taking profits there or there. That was just a perfect swing trade right there. Boom. Swing scalp. Um, if it comes down and now you're using the life revision, you're in the discounted market. As far as the dealer's range goes, you see your bottom pattern. You see your Adam and Eve. You're on. You just stop hunted. This is the key right here. This right here. This is the key. You've got equal highs relative equal highs, and you've got relative equal lows. Okay. There is going to be stops on both sides. That means that there are traders that are convinced that it's going higher here because of the support. And then you've got the other traders who are convinced that this is a bear flag and this is resistance. Well, they're both wrong. The market slams down, makes my money printer model, and then rips up for new highs. This thing happens hundreds of times a day. It repeats over and over and over again. Every single bottom has this model right here. It's actually right here. And every single top has this model. It's just upside down. That's it. Now, if you can figure out when the proper time to play this, you can make a very, very good amount of money. So let's drop into our four hour. So that was the snap up that we got from the from this candle right here. <laughs> Right there, that four hour candle after these three closed. So we're going to look at that. We have a stop hunt wick here. And, you know, you could say that that's the buying pressure snapping back up from everybody wanting to get in if you'd like. And it comes down and it makes one more stop hunt right here, it takes out this little double bottom. And then this candle here was the swing low. This candle confirmed the swing low. The next candle blasted off. That's your, that's a play right there. It all in itself. Now, if the, the problem is sometimes your confirmation candle will be the expansion candle. So you can actually front run that by pulling your fibs on the four hour candle and waiting for this retracement. Now this one was not the expansion candle and more often than not, it's gonna come into half this wick, which was, is the 618 retracement. 
and you can get long on that candle. So if this one had come down here, you could already be long there instead of waiting to long here for your swing trade. So this one comes down and we're still in our four hour time frame, and we are getting long here at the 618 retracement. And again, I'm pulling from bodies, not wicks, when I'm sniping entries, and this is why. Okay, there's a likelihood that you might miss this trade depending where you're pulling from. So I always use the bodies when I'm sniping entries, but when I'm checking out my environment, I want the entirety of the volume. So we got our swing low here and finally a swing high right here. So this could be a partial. Right when this starts coming down, this candle here confirms the swing high. So if you want to take a partial there, that's still a very respectable swing trade. Moving your stop loss up to entry from below here. Now, why would this be a good place? Well, we just did the stop hunt and now we're making the money printer model, which is the reversal pattern. It's the thumbprint, this repeating phenomenon that I figured out a while ago, long before I ever went with no indicators. And um, now I just have really defined rules for it. So I wanna share with you. After the stop hunt, we're making the reversal pattern. And this is all I used to play. When I first got to the 99, I had the OGs tell me straight up, like, look, dude, you're way all over the place. Okay, you're way too all over the place. You're playing flags, you're playing head and shoulders, you're playing fibs, you're playing fib circles, you're playing moon cycles, freaking animals, Elliott wave, like you're all over the map. Just play one pattern. If you want to make it somewhere, just play one. So I picked the Sammy Cup in hand straight up. And thank you, Mr. Smurfington, for doing that. Also, Laura Marshall, shout out. But there's your cup and handle right there. It's not perfect but it still follows the rules very nicely. So where's the next swing high? Well, this one's not very convincing. It didn't really go up. And now we've taken out this high here with this wick here. So now I'm going to pull my fibs again from this swing low to this swing high. And we have practically the exact same thing going on, only this one didn't reach. So if you are already in the trade, there's no reason to close it. Everything's being respected. The next swing high is way up here. And this takes out some old highs over here, which is exactly what we want to see. So this would be a very good place to close the trade. So catching this low here, to this high here at 200x leverage, which if you're not used to leverage and you haven't taken a leverage class and you don't know nothing about it, don't let this entice you. But if you're trading spot, this is a very decent swing trade. Because normally if you're trading spot, then you've you, you probably got a nice portfolio that you don't want to risk. So sniping absolute bottoms after a stop hook. Look at this even. There's an obvious double bottom. There's an obvious triple top. It takes out the top and then runs for the bottom and then expands higher. So in this little guy, in the smaller time frames, there was also a money printer after the stop point. It went for the highs. Okay, we're taking profits at the swing high. We're swing traders. So from swing to swing, once you close some of this position, your stop loss would be at your entry, wherever that may be in here. Because, you know, your stop loss was down here a bit. <clears throat> That's exactly it, Jedi M. Okay. Um, it's called money management. And you're not going to see this anywhere on the internet. I've codified these concepts to come with a absolutely stress-free system. And it's just as simple as doing a little bit of math and understanding margin versus capital. But today I'm just gonna teach you guys how to snipe bottoms and not be caught up in the euphoria of both legs in a premium market. So right now we are sitting 
at 196 days in this range. And yes, it's a big range. The bigger, the better. You know, sure, there's money to be made in this range. Sure, there's some money to be made in this range. And this one, but look at how beautiful this one is. This one's just great. Now, look at that market with your new eyeballs, okay? We've got a premium up here, and we've got a discount up here. It's pretty obvious when you're looking at here that you can just start buying and then selling up here. Buy low, sell high. Goes down, buy low, sell high. Goes down, buy low, sell high. Comes right down. And yes, it at the time, that wasn't there. Here's my, you know, this was here at the time. And so when it came down, it came right back up. So we can extend our um, thing. And then when it comes down, makes another double bottom, bear flag, dumps into a deeper, makes it even deeper discount. That's where we're looking for our money printer model. But you got to check out your environment first. Now, just like I was showing you in the smaller time frames, I am not pulling from the absolute low. If we haven't broken any significant lows like this one here, if we were to break that, sure, I'd definitely start pulling from down there. But we're still above this. So first I pulled from here. And then when this broke, now I'm pulling from here. And if this 786 breaks, then I will pull from the absolute low. That's like the line in the sand, right? So we're in the 618, 786 retracement. We've made the money printer model in the discounted dealer's range. And then ripped for I'm not pretty much a new high in a little bit. And then immediately came back down. So this has been the journey we've been in for, you know, the last few months. And it hasn't been very fun. It's been boring. Okay, Bitcoin's just not doing anything much or going anywhere special. <laughs> so, again, nothing's different in here. There is absolutely nothing different going on in here than you um, just seen from before. There's nothing different. Here's equal lows. Here's equal highs. It took out the highs. It made the bearish money printer slam down for the lows. Triple bottom, just taking out this low ever so gently. You see that? How it just took it out just enough. But makes a textbook triple bottom nonetheless. Comes down, makes a quadruple bottom, slams up, breaks this swing. Comes down. And then slams down for all this liquidity. This is where we're getting excited right here. This is when we see this, we are like got our finger on the trigger. Because that's money. We're buying low. So when we see red candles, we want that. Write a note <laughs> on your um write a note on your desk on your trading desk and have it in front of you all the time. Red candles are money. Green candles are only money if you're in them. So here's that slant. Oh no, it's that Monday. Come on now. I didn't think it was this far back. That's the Friday. There we go. That guy right there. Look at that guy. So we were just in the one week, four hour and um, uh, 15 minute. And now we are in the one minute time frame. Okay. I know somebody, I know the common thing that you hear is the one minute is noise. And I'm here to tell you today, it ain't noise. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous in here. Okay. It's perfect. It is absolutely perfect. So Price, stop hunt, and there we go. That's all we can go. But we know that there was equal lows here. It finally stop hunts. Now, immediately you're thinking, oh my gosh, Bitcoin is tanking. Like I got a bunch of Bitcoin and it's going down. Or 
I was just in a, you know, a position because it was support and now it's freaking tanking. Relax, relax. It's all good. It's all good. It ain't going to just die forever. Okay. There's a lot of big players in this thing and they're not going to let it go to zero. They're not even, probably not even going to let it go past 15 K. So as we're blowing out lows here, finally, we get some divergence. So if you're a divergence trader, this is for you. But right here, just like in December, there is that beautiful structure where it stop hunts, comes up. This high here takes out these highs here. A market structure shift taken with energy. Then we're pulling, and again, this is the one minute time frame. We're pulling from our low to high, and we want to see is our 618786 retracement being respected? It was, it does come down for one more dip. Okay, so we got Divi here. Now, this is how I teach my students to play divergence. Oh, it got blocked too. You've got your swing down. You've got your swing up and you can also put one right here. We'll put a, ver a horizontal line here. So this would be our range. Now, when we see price snap back up through here, we can be buying this Divi line, okay? And we're keeping our stop loss relatively nice. And if you're in my leverage group, we don't use stop losses because we don't have liquidation prices, okay? That's how we start our trades. And that's how we are able to sleep on 200x leverage trades. Now, this makes another divergence as it's coming down here for another stop hunt. Now, even Lifer says, and that's where I got the whole idea from, that divergence is created from the market maker stop hunting accounts. So we got another Divi. I want you to notice what happens as we scrub along here. Okay, It makes my money printer model, again, stop hunt. Swing break. This swing high here is taking out old local swing highs with energy, creating a market structure shift. Scrub it along. Now look at how that divvy there, or that price action, snapped to and through our divergence line here, our original one. Retests it perfectly. Comes up comes down, retest the 618 and the Divi line again. There's your bottom right there. Okay. So if you're a divergence trader, that's how you can be playing Divi, okay? You want to draw a vertical and a horizontal line on the candles, the lowest part of it that started the Divi. Then you want to see a snap to and through a retracement and you can be getting long there now this can happen it's not just going to blast off every time but as long as you're making divi you know you're 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 you got a pretty good idea that you can be safe and because bitcoin ain't gonna crash like hardcore like everybody's stuck in their one minute time frames and they think this is a big move this is absolutely nothing this is like nothing it's nothing you know, that's like a 3% move maybe from like here to here. That's nothing. It's a few grand. Now, us high leverage mastery classes, we love dumps. The harder it dumps, the more we get to add to the trade and the more we get to ride this guy up with. So we love it. We love it. Now, I want to show you again your fibs. So there's a lot going on in these candlesticks and it'd be a lot to teach you guys all in one little session here, but measure the candles. Is your 786, it does snap too, but it doesn't snap through. Ooh, nice, Jonathan, right on. It does snap too, but it doesn't snap through the 786 retracement and makes a swing low here. So that was telling us 
that and then we make another market structure shift right here. This energetic move takes out the swing high here and that little one here. Yes, it works in the one minute. So now after it rides up and makes another high here, we're going to pull from this swing low. And we're going to see, does our 618 get respected? Yes, it does. So every time we make new highs, we're pulling from our previous swing lows. Now, why did I pick that one and not this one? Well, you can pick this one. It snapped two, but not through our 786 retracement. But it just looks a little more cleaner and makes a little more sense here. So we've got our divergence. We've got our stop hunt. We've got our swing break. We've got our retracements. Everything is beautiful in here for a long position. Okay, please practice this so you get used to the idea of buying red candles if you've been struggling doing that because this is what's going to pay. We all want to make money here. Like it's it's that, it, the, it, that's it. That's why we're here, okay? Screw, screw blockchain. We're all here to make money right now. We'll say blockchain for the arguments of the bull run and why they're going to, and why each coin might, flail to new heights <laughs> for later oh i wish they would just stay on the time date you are on when you go and switch time frames but i'm gonna go i'm gonna scrub back as far as i can here right there so i'm gonna turn on my toolkit and all this does is delineate the days for me i like to have them delineated Oh, does it even do it this far back? Unbelievable. Huh. Okay, so now that you have your money printer model and you understand that every single day has a bottom, okay? Every single day has a bottom. Every single week has a bottom. Every single month has a bottom. The three things that every single candle has in common is it has a close open, a high, and a low. A close and an open is basically the same action. So we count it as one, right? Every day has a bottom. Every single day. So there's no reason why you can't catch these bottoms. There's absolutely no reason. So when you see a top come up here like this, and you are all looking at this as a bear flag to get long on, that thing is making a bearish money printer model and coming after your stop loss because you didn't grab the bullish money printer model right here or this guy right here. Some people would see this as a reversal diamond and because you're in a discount, well, I might agree with them. But if you pull from here to here, You've got a respect of the 618, 786 retracement after a energetic market structure shift. So this thing was making new lows and, and blowing out lows. Blowing out lows until this beauty right here. And then there was an entry right there. And if that wasn't good enough, it comes down and respects the 618 retracement again. That's Tuesday. That's Tuesday's low. Or sorry, that's Thursday. That's Thursday's low. That's Thursday's high here. And that's a swing trade. That's a daily scalp. Bitcoin's not flying anywhere. That it might in uh, one week from now. Two weeks maximum, Bitcoin's going to move and it's going to move hard and it's going to fake everyone out first and then it's going to rip the other direction. Screenshot that. Please start paying yourself more often. Okay, because 
I've shone this light for you, you're going to start seeing the markets in a much different fashion. It's going to bite you like a bug. When you are catching daily swings, daily scalps, you are paying yourself and always be paying yourself by targeting old highs. Okay, there was no reason to close this trade after this started flying until this swing high right here or this one even. Once you started making this candle, you know, you'd be considering closing the trade. It only went up for a little bit more, but that right there is a beautiful day trade. Okay, now as we're up in a premium, you know, relative to our local dealer's range, it's making this bull flag here or a chubby triangle or whatever. And Sammy called this short, like that was hardcore. I think a lot of us caught it. Well, a lot of you guys, I don't, I don't play shorts anymore. But uh, this swing low here was blown out here with energy telling us lower prices. It comes up here, falls shy of this one, making a new high. Comes back down for the retracement. Respecting the bearish 786 Fibonacci retracement. And then slams down for the 0.5 extension. Or sorry, negative three price swing. So you can see how very beautiful this price swing by its bodies was meant to with military grade like precision. Please start back testing your fibs. And if you don't know, there it is. This is what I do to my fibs. I reverse the, um, the extras that come on. <laughs> I reverse them by putting negatives in front of the numbers. And so the negative 0.5 and the negative 2.7 right there is my um, first targets. I don't usually have that 21 on. That was an experiment. So if you didn't get that, I just ask for it in the 99. Just one second. <laughs> everyone's singing baby shirt <laughs> uh so yeah negatives are for um targets and you can see that swing low was made right at the targets now when you're pulling your fibs from low to high your extras that come up they come down so i've just reversed them so that they are targets and i don't have to flip my fibs twice every, or pull them twice every single time now, this guy right here, this is a trade in itself, and it's not super duper or superhuman or anything, but we do have a stop hunt, and the closest swing low we have is this one here. Now, this one, you can use the bodies, but it does come to 100% fear. It breaks two, but not through, showing a willingness. So this is the only time I would be pulling from the wicks is where it makes sense. And I know it sounds cherry-picked, but those who have been with me for a while know exactly what I'm talking about. And we make another little money printer model in here. So these, this little sneaky bugger right here, that little sneaky swing high and this one here blowing out. We have local swing highs being blown out and we have that respect of our retracement. So we're making another money printer within a money printer. We have the stop hunt, swing break, retracement to the 786. This is a gorgeous trade, stress-free, to the point, and you take profits at your opposing swings or when it makes a swing high. So that would have been something. Or you can use the negative 0.5 and the negative 1 extension on your fibs. So that was Friday and that was Friday's low. And there was, you know, you could get a little bit of pullback in there. Now, 
now that we have that swing blown out here, we have another retracement to a 786. This is a beautiful scalp right here. Okay, we're not waiting for higher prices. We are paying ourselves immediately at opposing swing highs. If you're getting in absolute bottoms, buying these spooky red candles, you should have no problem paying yourself right here. Now, again, and I'm not like condoning this if you don't know what you're doing, but this is why we use what we use. But don't you be going in there with your live accounts and without knowing what you're doing because you will get squished and that's not the point of this. So every day has a bottom. Now, if you are trading Saturdays and Sundays, after winning Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, uh, you, you might want to stop. And maybe nobody's told you before, but those, those days don't do anything. And this is why delineating your days like this can help you immensely. 5 p.m. starts the new daily candle. Or sorry, 8 p.m. New York time. Where is that? Right there. 8 p.m. There's the new daily candle. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then you know, Friday, you usually get a pullback after a nice pump like this. And that happened. And, you know, it, they stopped out both sides. But uh, look at the market just induced all that energy and all that euphoria into you by going long all week and nailing trades without even having to think. And then Saturday, well, Friday came right back down after this bull flag. Okay, there's a bull flag right there in your premium dealer's range. Absolutely stopped them out. Everybody chased this short and then they got wrecked again. So now you're just induced with euphoria. You might have gotten a piece out Friday. You might be feeling pretty good. And then all weekend you're bored and you got nothing to do. Well, so does the market. Okay, the market's not going anywhere. If you're trading on the weekend, please stop. Especially if you don't know what you're doing. I'm not saying there's not little scalps in here, but unless you are on high leverage, you're not making squat. Like there's really no point. You may as well just watch price action and see how scammy it is all weekend. Here's a double bottom. Induced traders to go long, went and stopped them out, right? Now everybody's short. So here's a double top. Now everybody's short, takes out this low here, runs out the triple top, makes a double top here and just rinse and repeat. Now everybody's long, this bear flag, played out if they seen it but they're most likely long on this cup and handle boom stopped out and now they're chasing the short so brrr, comes and takes their stop losses this is literally the weekend it's just liquidity raid city and then finally you get some volatility sunday through monday's trading and i mean you got a stop hunt and you don't really get a swing break in here in the five minute but i'm you know i bet there'd be one in the one minute so after you get this energetic move up, it comes down, takes out this high here, right there, right here. This These candles right here take out this high here. So instantly we're like, okay, well, if we're going up, then our FIB's going to be respected. Boom, FIB respected. So are we going up? It's Monday. Who knows what Monday's going to do? Oh, yeah, it flies right on. Make sure you pay yourself, okay? You are always paying yourself. My students, as soon as they're in 50, 80, 100% gains, and that's not a very big move in Bitcoin. Right there, that's 50% gains, that tiny little movement. And they're paying themselves. That's 100% gains, that tiny little movement. They're paying themselves. This thing went for a total of, you know, 500 uh, and I can't math right now. 570, I mean, well, 556%, I think. Don't laugh at me. I've been talking on my computer all day. Still a very nice game. 
and I'm again I'm not preaching come join us and use 200x leverage but like the reason why I'm showing you this is because you can make money with that with the the money printer model after a stop hunt like that you can absolutely make money from that stop hunt there to that swing break way up there that was a very decent trade even for a spot trader And we wouldn't have grabbed that. It would have been right there or so. That's 9%. That's 9% in 190 some days of chop. That's not bad. Now there, you can use this in other assets, okay? But uh, it's like lots of coins will only follow the rules until they don't, okay? Lots of low liquidity coins with not a lot of market cap, okay? So just be warned. You have been warned. Um, dial your risk back when you are doing this in smaller cap gems, okay? So this right here, and as, you, as you've seen me multiple times now, and what I do consistently is I pull from the swing low before this energetic one here when I have not broken through the retracement now recently. And we nailed every single day last week. So Monday came and stop hunted and then found a high. Tuesday came and stop hunted. We added to the trade here, and that was a decent move right there. Got out at this opposing high. Wednesday, stop hunted just a little bit, came down. Didn't quite smash below that. Made a double bottom, ripped up for this high here, paid ourselves. Smashed down for that double bottom. So who all the people who play double bottoms, who didn't pay themselves, just got wrecked. And then, so we're still in a discount. And if that wasn't cool enough, it came right back down to another 786 and made the same little baby money printer right there. Look at that little guy. Isn't he cute? Look at swing down, swing up. You didn't need, well, you know, you might, but I, you know, if you want to use divergence, sure. But there you go. There's your divergence. Your stop hunt, your divvy, and then your little baby swing break. You see that little candle flipping us off, giving us the finger right there? That's the swing break. And if you take that out with energy, you'll retrace and retest it and then go for the highs. And now look at it. Now I can't not see it. He's just flipping me the bird. <laughs> That's the porno guy. So after this thing makes an energetic move up, it comes down and respects this retracement. And you've got a down close candle supporting this down close candle. So it's pretty cool. It's basically your SR flip there, right? Now, if that wasn't cool enough, this retracement is respected. So there's multiple opportunities to get long in here as long as your retracements are being respected. And then finally, it just snaps out of proportion, goes for all these stop losses, and it's a nice big short squeeze. And that's what's been going on lately. So the market is the market symmetry is coming back. You see how this is just absolute noise? And this is carnage. This is absolute carnage. That's all it's doing right now is wrecking accounts in this zone. That's it. So if you're one of those people, you know, try not to feel too bad, but uh it's 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 been doing this on purpose so but now that we have some nice nice movement like this this just sings to me even though it's still you know trashing accounts the fact that our fibs are being respected one way or another says that we're getting some symmetry back and it's not just going to be noise for a while it's it, there's there's some nice moves coming in the next little while and october is traditionally good for market moves so now you guys have your money printer. Wait for the red candles. Don't be chasing these guys. 
Okay. Don't be chasing these pumps. You want to be chasing the dumps. If, if for some of you, it's completely backwards to what you have been doing. And I'm here to tell you that you have been doing it backwards. Hey, okay? with your new glasses, I want you guys to soar. Even, even bread man, like the guy. Yeah. You, bread man. It's absolutely astounding what you've been doing, man. Like he is one of the first people that I was showing this to. And the guy, he barely misses trades. He barely ever loses trades because he's just buying retracements. It's insane. And you know, you can <laughs> watch this. So this went up, right? Okay. So I'm, I got a coin right here. Heads I long, tails I short. It's heads. I'm going to short. Okay. Price, let's say it uh, starts pumping up here, right? And I'm like, okay, I'm short today because I got heads. Or wait, is it heads I long and tails I short? So I'm long here. Man, I'm tired. <laughs> but let's just say we we're short just for the hell of it. We pull our fibs from high to low. And look at this. Look at the respect of the 786 retracement. Now, if you were short here, it did come down. It did come down. It took out swing lows. You could be paying yourself right here. Now, it didn't flail down, but your stop loss is now at your entry. So as it came down here, you paid yourself something, and then it came and ripped for your stop loss, and you were wrong. You guys can be seriously bulletproof once you understand what's going on here. So that thing ripped up to new heights, and do you think it stopped just anywhere? It respected the 618786 retracement bearishly after grabbing all the shorts, the short squeeze, right? And then it slammed down. So if you were short for the day or the week, you could have just literally shorted a retracement and been in the money. Or if you were long for the week, you could have just longed one of these retracements and been in the money, paying yourself at opposing swings. You're now bulletproof. I'm going to upload this to YouTube and... I hope you guys study hard. I'm just going to stop this recording. I didn't mean to stop my screen share, but...